Hello, in this video, we are going to see how can you log in to the portal of St. Xavier's College to answer your entrance exam test. You would primarily need to look up to the registered email ID, the one that you filled in your registration form. Once you have been successfully activated with your email ID for the entrance exam, you will receive an email as highlighted on the screen right now. The email will have come from St. Xavier's College and it will be welcoming you to answer the entrance test, which features the password, which is pivotal for you to log in. On clicking on the Login Now button, you will be directed to this page. On the left-hand side, you shall see the image of St. Xavier's College. And on the right hand side, you can feed in your email ID and password. Once done, you can log in. You will be directed to the dashboard that features the active tests currently present. Something like the mock test, which you will be attempting before answering your test. Upcoming test will show you the date, the time of your allotted test for the entrance exam. Once you have answered the mock test, it will be highlighted as a pass test. It will be shown that you have completed the mock test. Now, most importantly for you to take pay attention is to the right hand side details. You can have a look at the icon on the right hand side that indicates your profile, system related configuration, any required support, and logging out. When you click on your profile, you will be shown details about your name, the college related because I'm a faculty there, but for you, it will show you some of the details associated to your entrance and the examination that you will be giving it. You can change your password if you feel it comfortable to do so, or you may continue to go on with the password which is given in your email ID. You can click back on the St. Xavier's logo to return back to your dashboard. You can then click on the icon just on the right hand side. And please check the system configuration. This must be done at the time of your mock test. It is the most important test and the most important check step to be done before the main examination day. On your screen, you must have all green ticks highlighted. However, if it is not all green, in the middle, you will be shown a, a very important red line that indicates that either your camera or mic is not functioning. So you would need in your Chrome browser to click on the lock on the top left hand side and grant permission to your camera and microphone. In case it has highlighted on the block, you will not be able to use this. I can show you how it will look. In case your permission has not been granted, the camera and mic permissions have been denied will be featured in red right in the middle of your screen. And you will perform the task of clicking on the lock button and allowing it, granting it permission to now utilize the camera and the microphone for the test. To verify it, we will again click on check system configuration. And now we can see the green ticks springing up on our screen. The exam going to be video proctored will require your camera to be perfectly running and the microphones completely synced with the system in order to understand for any malpractices. So in this way, we have checked upon some of the detailed configurations and we have logged in onto your portal. In our next video presentation, we will be discussing on how to answer your tests. Using the example of our mock test, we will be trying to understand the way and the formats of our questions are. Please do watch the next video. Thank you.